Hi, I'm Kevin Lindstrom from the TechOps team here at Butterfly MX. I'm here in our New York warehouse to demonstrate how to integrate a DC strike with the Butterfly MX video intercom. This video demonstrates the process of connecting the Butterfly MX smart intercom to a direct current strike using an Altronics RB5 relay as an isolation relay and a diode to absorb kickback voltage. These are the steps in the process. 1. Check the polarity of the two power sources. 2. Properly prepare the conducting wires being used. 3. Terminate the connections into the Butterfly MX dry termination block from the 12 volt direct current power source and from the Butterfly MX and the power source to the relay. 4. Demonstrate the Butterfly MX smart intercom operating the relay. 5. Terminate the connections into the strike lock from the 12 volt direct current power source and from the strike lock and the power source to the relay. The connections into the strike will have a diode installed to protect against kickback voltage. 6. Operate the entire system, from activation in the Butterfly Smart intercom to unlocking the strike lock. For this project, we will need a Butterfly MX video intercom, 12 volt DC power supply to power the RB5 isolation relay, 12 volt DC power supply to power the DC strike, 12 volt DC operated strike lock, in this case a Seiko Alarm SD994 Alpha, Alpha 1, Alpha Quebec, previously wired to combine their two positive and two negative wires into two, one positive and one negative. A multimeter, Ultronics RB5 relay set to 12 volt DC operation. This is the default factory setting. Please refer to the RB5 documentation to verify it is in the correct setting. Diode, caps, and or dolphins. The diode is minimum 400 volt, 1 amp, 1N4004 type, 332nd inch flat and number 2 Phillips screwdriver, wire cutter, and stripper, as well as cabling. Next, we will check the polarity of each adapter to ensure we connected the correct cables to the circuits. We begin with the adapter we plan to use with the RB5. Make sure it is not plugged in. Separate the two conductor wires. Strip enough of each conductor's insulation to have enough wire for a firm and stable connection to the multimeter. Wrap each wire into the multimeter probes, the suspected positive to red, the suspected negative to black. Test the multimeter function by setting it to the correct DC voltage setting. It should read 0 volts. Proceed to energize the circuit. The multimeter should read around 12 volts, but any positive number indicates the correct polarity. With the polarity of the power sources verified, now we connect Butterfly MX to the relay and to the circuit power source. First properly strip the positive conductor of the adapter to fit the terminal labeled positive in the RB5 unit. Open this terminal using a number 2 screwdriver. Insert the positive conductor into the terminal labeled positive in the RB5 unit and screw it in securely. Ensure the conductor is making good contact and has no excess wire that could cause a short. Repeat the stripping process with the negative conductor, but this time insert it into the Butterfly MX Drive Relay common terminal, not the RB5 relay. Now we prepare the conductor for the connection from the Butterfly MX's normally open port to the RB5 relay. For our purposes, we have chosen to use the color red for this conductor, as we are using black for the strike side. You can choose your own color scheme. This conductor is the negative one in this circuit. We strip away the insulation and cut off the rest of the wires in the cable. If desired, you can also twist them into the insulation. We do this on both ends, retaining only the wire of the chosen color. In real installations, this cable would be much longer. Please refer to our documentation guide on cable length and wire gauge relationships. In our setup, the negative conductor goes in the negative relay on the RB5. If you need to open the port in order to insert the conductor, do so with the 332nd screwdriver. Carefully insert the conductor into the port, ensuring it goes in correctly and that there are no stray strands of wire. Ensure that no wire or very little wire is visible. Proceed to insert the termination block into the Butterfly MX. 
Screw the terminal block into the Butterfly MX using the 332nd screwdriver, ensuring the connection is secured correctly. Energize the circuit. With the circuit properly energized, proceed to activate the normally open relay in the Butterfly MX unit as you would normally do. In this case, we used a delivery pin. As we can see, the relay's LED indicator light turned on, showing the relay is properly activated. Prepare the conductor for the connection from the strike lock's negative conductor to the RB5 relay's normally open port. For our purposes, we have chosen to use the color black for this conductor as we are using red for the Butterfly MX side. You can choose your own color scheme. This conductor is the negative one in this circuit. The diode has polarity. The marked side goes with the positive. If you see the diode going into the wrong connection, simply flip it. When using caps, it is not necessary to twist the wires together. The twisting motion of the cap is enough to ensure a safe and secure connection. Repeat the process with the other conductor. Verify that the connection is safely and firmly secured. We verify that both conductors that connect to the RB5 are ready to be terminated. Beginning with the conductor from the power adapter, we verify again that it is ready. Using the number two Phillips screwdriver, we open the common terminal on the relay's negative side. Insert the conductor into the terminal. Close the terminal using the number two Phillips screwdriver. Repeat the process with the conductor from the strike that goes into the normally open terminal. Verify both conductors are safely and securely connected. Energize the circuit. Activate the Butterfly MX. As before, we are using a delivery pin. The strike lock now opens. The indicator LED in the RB5 relay also lights up showing that the Butterfly MX has activated it. The indicator LED in the RB5 relay turns off and the lock no longer opens, showing that the installation is complete and functional. 